Hey everyone, Angela here. Today I want to share with you my makeup routine. One of Young Living's newest lines is their Savvy Minerals Makeup, which has quickly become one of the most popular natural makeup brands since its release. Now, unlike even the most well-known mineral makeup lines, every product is free from bismuth, talc, mineral oils, lead, parabens, phthalates, and will not clog your pores or cause any kind of skin irritation. And most importantly, it gives you a flawless look. Whether you want a sheer finish, a very quick throw on your makeup, or even to the best ultra glam Hollywood face. Now, some of the products that they have, they carry already, are foundation, 10 different shades for different skin types, two different types of lip gloss, four different types of lipstick, three different types of blush, two types of bronzer. They have eyeliner and eyeshadows and diamond dust and very soon they will have some mascara. Now, whenever you decide that you want to switch your makeup, you want to choose the very best for your skin. That's not going to um, harm your skin in any way. So, I want to tell you, I am not a makeup artist, first of all. I am just an ordinary mom who loves the fact that these products, this makeup is safe for my family, safe for me to use. So I'm gonna go through my routine and just show you how easy it is to apply this makeup. Now I will say I was terrified of mineral makeup. I had really never used it before, didn't know how, um, but I can definitely tell you that it's super easy to do. Okay, so first step in using mineral makeup is priming your face. Now, I've already washed my hands and I've got everything set out. Um, washing your face twice a day is a must. So I use the Art Gentle Cleanser and I've already washed my face. And then in the morning, I come right behind um, and use my Art Refreshing Toner that helps to bring the skin back to normal pH. And then, I haven't done this yet, and I'm going to show you, um, is the Art Renewal Serum. And this is a fantastic serum for um, moisturizing your face. And then you come right up behind um, with the Art Light Moisturizer. So, and, and you literally want to kind of massage your face, kind of wake up your face. And this... Art Renewal Serum it smells so amazing and it gets really deep down into the cells and we want to stay hydrated and we want to wake up our skin so we're just gonna kind of massage the face and then we come up behind with this light moisturizer it kind of seals in all of that great moisture that you just applied and it also helps the minerals to stay put. Now, these minerals are not gonna clog your pores, so that is a plus, because when we have clogged pores, we get breakouts. I don't care how old you are, you get breakouts, and I don't want breakouts. Okay, so first step is foundation. Now, I am using um, Cool Number Two foundation, and you can see, I hope you can see, I have very little in the lid. You just tap it into the lid. Now, Young Living does have some amazing brushes that I don't have yet, but you do with what you have until you're able to get it. So, I'm using a kind of flat brush, and I have my Savvy Minerals Misting Spray. And what this does is so I don't have minerals just flying everywhere dry. Um, it helps the mineral to pick up the minerals. And so I just literally spray one spray on there and then you kind of tap it on the back of your hand so you don't have it like sopping wet. And then you just kind of swirl it around inside and I usually start in my problem areas, which is right in here um, in my T-zone in this area. So uh, in just circular motion, you're just going to apply the minerals all over and just kind of get down on the neck. Get in those problem areas, especially around the nose. That's where... 
I kind of get a little red on the eyes. And then I don't want to waste any bit of the mineral, so I make sure that I have it all on my brush, all out of the lid, and then foundation. Done. Easy, right? I'm going to put the lid back on this. Next up, I do my eyes next. And uh, Young Living has many eyeshadows, and these are so beautiful. They have like a little shimmer to them. Um, I actually use three different ones. I start off with, and let me look at the name, I start off with Residual. And it is, I don't know if you can tell the color, I don't know, the lighting may be weird in here. It's just like a light tan, but it's got some shimmer in it that's really, it just really makes you feel awesome. And this is an all over color. So I have my brush here, and I just tap it. I have just a little bit inside, I don't know, just a little bit inside, and I just kind of swish it on my my whole eyelid, covers my whole eyelid. I make it a little more, and this, this makeup really has great coverage. I've got some problem areas that um, I really have to focus on, or and it just covers them up really well. I make sure that I get inside the crease there. And once again, no minerals left behind. Just You use so little of it. All right, so let me put the lid back on. That was residual, all over eye color. And then I do um, the, the crease, the, the corner and the crease of the eyelid. And I do like a, I guess they would call it a foiling technique. And I use my lavender, it's upside down, lavender lip balm. Okay, and I just kind of put right in the corner. And what this does is it kind of, um, it kind of just brightens the color. And then of course your lips need some too, right? Because it's amazing. Lavender lip balm is the balm. Okay, so my, my crease color and corner color, I totally love this color. It is um, unscripted, okay? And it's kind of like, it's kind of like a plum color, and it goes on really beautifully. And I use, I have a slanted, slanted brush, and I just get a little bit and I start in the corner because I want it a little more defined in the corner and then I kind of just move across the crease and kind of build my color. You can make it as bold or as light as you want it and I just kind of build at the corner and move in. Okay, and then the other side. Kind of build in the corner. I like it a little more dramatic here and then I'm over. See, I'm just doing it like that. A little more right there. And then I like to come up, kind of make the eyebrows stand out. I don't know. <laughs> Once again, I'm not a professional, so, you know, I just try to do my best. And I love the way this makeup feels on my skin. It doesn't feel caked or there's no itchiness because there's all fantastic, um, pristine ingredients inside of this. Okay, so got the second. Now, I like just, um, just on the lid to kind of and the brow, the arch of the eyebrow. I like to do a little bit of highlighting. And so I come in at the corner and kind of move out there. It's kind of hard looking in your camera lens and applying, so I'm going to look here, too. <laughs> if I get it on right, because this has got to last all day. And it does. The makeup, from the time I put it on to the time I go to sleep, it looks the same. And it has... 
um, instead of things that are going to clog your pores, it has ingredients that are going to improve the appearance of your skin. It has kaolin clay, which is wonderful for absorbing excess oil that you have on your skin. You know, throughout the day, kind of, it gets, our skin gets a little oily and our skin gets kind of tired looking. But this lasts and it looks the same at night that it does during the day. So there we have that. Now, next step, what I do is I do an all over bronzer. And my bronzer is, I chose crowned all over. And I have it inside the lid there just a little bit and I have my bronzer brush just tap it and then you'll want to tap off the excess so it doesn't just go flying everywhere I just kind of get it on there really good and then I focus like a C I focus the cheek area give it a little bronze and this just helps give it just kind of come around gives it a little shimmer I kind of go underneath my eyes just a little bit and then underneath my chin you know, sometimes I go crazy with it, just put it everywhere. But this has such a great smell. Kind of the corner of my temples, all the way around. Kind of neck area. Okay, now, next is, after my bronzer, I put on eyeliner. Now, this eyeliner comes in a mineral form, okay? So, it is the Jet Setter, and what I did is I took a little bit of the Jet Setter, and I got these, um, I've got these little contact lens cases. I don't wear contact lenses, but I put just a little bit of the dry, in one side and then I put I have this side where I kind of make a mess and you can see in my lid where I have it's kind of dried up and then I've been swirling it around so I turn it into a liquid and usually since I wash my hands before before we get started um, I usually have water in the sink and I kind of just wet I have a very thin very thin brush. Let's see which is the best way. Just a really thin brush. And leftover from a couple days. So I just kind of swirl that around. If you can see that. I kind of get that on there. And then if I need a little more, I can always add a little more and make it. And then I pull, and I'm going to have to look inside the mirror and just kind of dab. I start in the corner of my eye and move over. I like a little thinner line over over here and a little bit more pronounced in the corner and then you can see I've got some on this side I'm going to go on the other side I can see and you kind of have to hold your mouth open just like I just did because you know that helps you get on eyeliner right I'm going to try to not catch flies kind of put on eyeliner and it's really hard to talk whenever you're putting on eyeliner so I'm going to come up put a little bit more on this side okay now make sure I can see and then I come up under in the corner and just come out just a little bit my eyeliner is on that simple and so easy so easy all right so after I do the eyeliner then I come up with my blush and my blush is I do believe you're blushing so I have some tapped inside of my lid there and I spray 
With my misting spray, I spray the brush again, one more time, just one spray. That helps to capture those. And then, of course, I just kind of dab on the blush, kind of. There we go. And then as you swirl it on your face, it gets inside, sticks to your skin so well. Okay, blush is done. And then, and then lips. Now, I have two different lipsticks that I really, really love. And they are Wish and Daydream. Now, I usually layer these two, and then you can come up afterwards and apply some uh, Young Living's lip gloss. I have um, some the Libronte um, lip gloss that I like to put on over it just for a little bit of shimmer. So I literally just apply one, no signs to that, and then apply the other. And that is a savvy face. Savvy makeup tutorial. So it's super easy and uh, it takes no time at all and you can look your very best without harming your body with the nasty toxins that are in other makeup. So um, if you don't have savvy minerals, we need to change that. And if you don't know what Young Living is, we definitely need to change that. So in the description, I will have my link and we can get started with oils, makeup, supplements, they have it. So um, leave a message if you or a comment if you have any questions and I'll be sure to answer it. Talk to you soon. Bye.